2024, State Senator John Mannion is the Democratic Party's choice to face off against Congressman Brandon Williams in the 22nd District. Mannion won yesterday's primary by a wide margin over DeWitt Town Councilor Sarah Clee Hood. She has represented the Syracuse, he has represented the Syracuse area in Albany for the past four years. And one of the main reasons for his win was his strong performance out in the Syracuse area. But let's turn now to the map where we find, of course, News Channel 2's Luke Radel. Now, Luke, you've been looking at the numbers today. Why don't you tell us what you've learned about this race? Yeah, here, Jason, is the county by county breakdown of the results that we saw last night in the 22nd District primary. And just like we discussed last night at 6, there's a bit of a mirage happening here. You see three, one, two, three of the five counties were won last night by Sarah Clee Hood. And you might be thinking to yourself, oh, does that mean that she won the whole primary overall? But just like two years ago, Sarah Clee Hood lost by double digits right here in Onondaga County, which includes the city of Syracuse. That is where most of the voters are and she needed to at least stay competitive out there. But if we look at the county by county breakdown, these are the top three counties in the 24 primary last night. Look at Onondaga County. She did not keep it competitive at all. If you remember last night, I had said she needed to keep it within single digits, uh, plus 40, not single digits, not anywhere near close to that. She did much worse in Onondaga County than she even did two years ago. But on the flip side, if you look at how she did in Oneida and Madison County, she did much better, plus 45 in the southern half of Oneida County, which is included in the 22nd district, plus 22 in Madison County. County, but that was just not enough to overcome Mannion's lead out in Onondaga County. And there's a very simple reason for that. Look at these numbers. When you're comparing Oneida County turnout and Onondaga County turnout, it's not even like comparing apples and oranges. It's more like grapes and watermelons, which brings me to a much more important point as a hometown boy. For decades, Utica and the Mohawk Valley have had a congressperson, whether it was Richard Hanna or Sherry Bowler or Anthony Berdisi. We have had someone who was from this area and campaigned here often. But with these new maps, the way they've been redrawn, that is clearly no longer the case. At least electorally, Utica has lost its influence on congressional politics. But the possible impact we could have comes in November, when John Mannion is hoping that Democrats across this district come out and support him against Republican Congressman Brandon Williams. These numbers from last night show deep divisions among Democrats in the 22nd, a tale of two cities, if you will, between Utica and Syracuse. For his part, Mannion is telling a newspaper out in Syracuse that he has, quote, more work to do in Oneida County based on these results. We'll be keeping an eye out to see what work he is doing come November. Jason.